Right now, Sporting KC is the only undefeated team in Major League Soccer. Pretty good. Last night in Kansas City, Sporting KC beat Toronto FC. Uh, Brad Davis scored the shot to win 1-0. to zero. Yay, Sporting. And now we are joined by Sporting KC defender Seth Sinovic. And not only to talk about his uh, great team and how great they're performing now, but also there's a cause that he has, a, a charity that he's working towards, and, and we want to talk about that. But first of all, how are you? What's going on? I'm doing great. Uh, yeah. Obviously, the team's off to a great start, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully we can keep it rolling. Now, you were injured, so tell us a little bit about that, but you worked your way back. Yeah, I had a little neck injury at the end of preseason, kind of a bad time to get injured uh, leading into the season, but uh, feeling healthy and uh, trying to work my way back in. So you totally rehabbed, and you're fine. Mm -hmm. You're you're there and you're ready to go. Yeah, you're ready I'm good to get to go. on the yeah. field. Yeah, absolutely. When you see them win like this, what is that like? I mean, we're all cheering for you. Oh, we're, I mean, everybody's excited. We're, uh, you know, we're ecstatic to be 3-0 mm -hmm. uh, so far. Um, to be honest, a little jealous. Want to be out there as well. <laughs> I so, know. Uh, no, it's exciting and hopefully we can keep mm -hmm. it going. All right. Now tell us about this charity, Uncorked for a Cause. Yeah, as you said, it's called Uncorked for a Cause. It's a, uh, a charity wine event. Um, there's actually going to be a Seth Sinovic wine. Wow. Uh, so I'm excited to have that. Uh -huh. um, but it's going to be taking place at the Intercontinental Hotel on the plaza. Uh, it's going to be on... Um, March 24th, Thursday, so uh, it's going to be supporting the Vit Victory Project, which is a charity um, supporting local kids with cancer. And that's really something that the team took on as a whole, mm -hmm. um, the whole Victory Project. And tell us about how kids are recognized and, and honored and, and benefit from this. Yeah, it's something that was started by Sporting. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, every kid is honored at every home game. Um, we get to meet them the, mm -hmm. the day before the game uh, at practice, and they get to interact with us a little bit. And then after the game, we uh, go over, sign a few things for them, and uh, you know, get to talk with them a little bit. So it's a great experience, I think, uh, for, for yeah. both of us. And it really touched your heart meeting some of these kids. Tell us a little bit about that personal side, what, what it really meant to you to see these kids and, and see what they're going through. Yeah, it's obviously a difficult situation, and um, anything we can do to, to, to help uh, put a smile on their faces, and um, to be honest, it puts a smile on our faces as well. So we're, we're excited to do it and happy to, happy to work with the kids. Now, how does it help the kids? I mean, I'm sure with their financial expenses, mm -hmm. medically, and then just to have that support, I imagine it puts a smile on their faces. And Yeah, I think financially it's a, mm -hmm. it's a big help. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's 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 great interaction to. Uh, I mean, it, growing up, if I had the opportunity to meet a, a professional athlete, yeah. it'd be something I was. <laughs> I'd be really excited about. Um, but to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction and and you know come to practices, come to games, be on the field, it's it's a great experience, and it I really think they is. like it quite a bit. Now you're a homegrown guy. Mm -hmm. You graduated from Rockers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, tell us a little bit about, you know, going back and being able to be part of something that they're doing. Yeah, I, I, anytime somebody talks to me about that, <laughs> I, I always talk about how lucky I am mm -hmm. um, to be able to play a uh, professional sport in my hometown and the success we've had at Sporting Kansas City. It's, uh, it's a perfect situation. I wouldn't have it any other way. All right, we want to get everybody to that charity event, so tell us when and where again. Uh, it's March 24th, Thursday at the Intercontinental Hotel from 7 to 9 p.m. Um, there's plenty of things out on social media. Um, as far as Twitter or Facebook pages, Uncork for a Cause, you can search that. You can go to Sporting KC uh, Facebook page, and there's um, tons of details on how to purchase tickets. But uh, it's a great event. And Tell us about your wine that's going to be presented there. Yeah, it's uh, it's a Is red. Is it sweet? It's red. It's, it's a red wine. Okay. Uh, I have had it. It's uh, <laughs> it's a little sweet. It's good. Um, I'm not the biggest wine connoisseur yeah, in the right, world, but right. uh, I like it. I think it's oh, uh, I think gosh. it's good. But well, that's uh, really great. It Seth, be thanks fun. so much for coming, yeah, and thanks for having everybody. Me. Get out there and support the charity, help kids with cancer. Thanks again. Thank you.